Hi everyone, so picking up where we left off, we got as far as creating a website based on a template and actually choosing the URL, the link that we'll be using, which you can see at the top here, uh, and um, saving and publishing that site. So now we'll actually start editing it. Uh, what we've got at the moment are a number of different pages, appearances, books, news, about, contact. We're not going to want all of those. Uh, we certainly might want about and contact uh, for a professional journalism site, but you're not going to want the other three. Uh, so how do I make changes to that, take pages on and off? Well, over here on the left-hand side of the screen, we've got a bunch of useful tools, add elements, add section, menus and pages, site design, etc., etc. So it's menus and pages that we need, which is the third tool down. So I'm clicking on that, and this is where I can add or remove pages. Um, so I'm going to start by removing the pages I don't need. So I'm going to get rid of appearances uh, by clicking on these three dots here and hitting delete. Uh, I'm going to get rid of books by hitting uh, the three dots here and going to the bottom, hitting delete. Nice and easy. And then this news page, I'm actually going to rename because it's already actually a blog page. I'll explain a little bit more about that later, but all you need to know for now is that we're going to rename that and we're going to call it coursework and click done. So we now have a page called coursework, which is going to be really, really useful um, because every time we're asked to do a task in class, that's exactly where it will end up. But I'm also going to add some other pages. So you'll see just up here above the pages, there's the option to add a page. Um, and when you click on that, you'll see there's lots of different templates, but I don't really need those for now. I'm just going to add a simple blank page. So that's your first option, this big blue button here. Um, and this page I'm going to call writing because you'll be doing some article writing on the course, so we can add that on. Again, I'm going to click our page, just select a blank page up here, and I'm going to add another one called video, because you'll be creating some videos on the course. And again, I'll click on the add page up here one last time, one last blank page, and I'll call this one podcasts. So now I've got, um, well, I count them how many I've got. I've got six pages plus this home page thing. Don't worry about that for now. Again, as long as you've got these six visible pages, coursework, writing, video, podcasts about contact, um, then um, we're doing well. You could reorder those if you wanted to. Uh, by just clicking and dragging, putting them in whatever order you want. Uh, but I quite like the order I've got them. Coursework on the left, writing, video, podcasts about contact. So coursework's where your college work will go. The tasks that we set you to do during the lesson. And then your final pieces, your finished articles, finished videos, and finished podcasts will go on those pages there. It's unbelievably easy actually to hide a page. So when you finish the course, you're not going to want the whole world to be able to see your coursework anymore. By clicking on these three dots there, you can simply hide a page like that. And it doesn't delete it, it just hides it forever. But I'll put it back and make sure that's currently set to show. Um, and finally, quickly, to have a look at different pages, you've got this drop down menu up here. Uh, and so you can click on any of your different pages and see what's going on with them. Okay, great. Next up, we'll be actually making blog posts.